and the vast oceans and serene lakes, or even the murky swamps, there are all kinds of extraordinary creatures hiding in the deep. What a fish! Holy mackerel! You might have heard tales claiming to be the biggest, but we're here to back them up. From massive marlins to legendary lurking sea monsters, here are the 20 biggest catches of all time. Catching a Catfish Gather around for a fantastic tale about a catfish, the whiskered wonders of the water. For this oceanic fish capade, we have to head to Po River in Italy, where our daring heroes, Dino Ferrari and his twin brother Dario, embarked on his fishing adventure of epic proportions. Catfish, as you may know, come in all shapes and sizes. But this one that we're looking at isn't your average fishy friend. The Ferraris reeled in a whopping 280-pound, 8.75-foot-long catfish that sent shockwaves through the fishing world. With Dino's spinning reel and Dario's support, they battled the beast for a thrilling 40 minutes before triumphantly bringing it ashore. Together, they made quite the dynamic fishing duo, proving that teamwork makes the dream work, even in the world of fishing. Of course, there are always bigger fish in the sea, and this isn't even the largest fish on our list. But what set Dino's story apart? It's not just the record-breaking size or the adrenaline-pumping fight, although they definitely make the story more exciting. But no, it's the heartwarming twist at the end. After the hard-earned catch, Dino and Dario decided to grant the giant catfish its freedom by releasing it back into the wild waters of the Po River once again. It takes a true hero to let his scaly friends swim off into the sunset, but as long as we have video proof of the catch, there really was no need to keep it any longer. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. We've heard of a big fish in a small pond, but this is taking that to the extreme. For today's missing topic, we've got some unknown sea monster coming down and causing all kinds of trouble. But what is this thing? It was found in a distant marsh off the coast of mainland Southeast Asia but that doesn't necessarily mean that's where it came from. Those marshes do attract a lot of creatures from all over, so either this behemoth migrated from fresher waters or it just kept up a steady diet and forgot to reach its maximum limit. Supposedly, goldfish can keep growing for a long time if you keep feeding them without overstuffing their tiny bellies. But this doesn't look like a goldfish we recognize, so we'll leave it up to you. What is this thing and how dangerous is it? Plus. What's it even got in its mouth? If that's even called a mouth, let us know your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to leave hashtag missing topic so we can see it. Swinging at a swordfish. Let's roll right into some mega-sized fish, starting off with a caught swordfish that came up to 520 pounds on the scale. And then about two weeks later, an even bigger swordfish was caught just off the Florida Keys. Captain Billy Rabido Jr. led the team that hooked this massive 683-pound broadbill swordfish around 30 miles south of Marathon. The fish measured approximately 107 inches long and 70 inches in girth and was caught using a 5-pound bonito fish on an 80-pound braid using an electric Shimano Tiagra reel. That's all basically fishing talk for the tools and bait, but if you know your stuff, you'd recognize how impressive this haul really is. In fact, it took nearly two hours to bring the huge broadbill swordfish aboard through the boat's transformed tuna door, which is what it was meant for. Everyone had to pinch in. Otherwise, they might not even have got it home. According to Rabito, this was an exciting and rare daytime catch, especially considering how elusive these large fish can be. Turns out the big guys don't like to swim up to where they can be found by their own predators. Both this catch and the 520-pound swordfish have shown to the locals that there's an abundance of large fish in the Keys waters. But the bad news is that despite its size, Rabito's broad bill won't be recognized as a state or IGFA record due to the use of an electric reel. Guess modern technology doesn't always pay off. The Predator Pike Here's a remarkable fishing story that's coming from the oceans of Bulgaria, where angler Petar Filipov may have caught a new world record pike. Weighing in at just over 25 kilograms and measuring almost a meter and a half, this catch easily surpassed the current U.S. record of 24.9 kilograms. Patar shared his exhilarating experience as a great achievement and revealed that his usual pike catches ranged from 1 to 7 kilograms. 
That's kind of a crazy difference. In case you're wondering, one kilogram is about 2.2 pounds, while his 25 kilograms was between 55 and 56 pounds. What's even more interesting is the lake he always goes to has been seeing even less fish these days and they don't seem to be repopulating fast enough. So he decided to take things into his own hands and changed his approach. He switched to using live bait and explored new fishing spots, including deep holes he hadn't explored before. One day, his persistence paid off when he encountered a fishing fight with the enormous pike. It took about 10 stressful minutes, but here we are and his trophy is right on display. The catch was not only a personal triumph, but also a mystery solved. It seems like his local fish were being brought down by a serious predator, namely this giant pike. Fall of the King Fishing in Alaska is a pretty common hobby, but the fate of Kanai King salmon now hangs in the balance. The response turned into Proposal 104 from the Kenai River Sports Fishing Association. Their plan, presented to the Alaska Board of Fisheries, aims to address the declining numbers of late-run kings while preserving the joy of angling for all those bored Alaskans. The proposal implements restrictions in both commercial and sport fisheries, while introducing a maximum sport size limit of 36 inches. Kind of boring if you're used to the big hauls, but what can you do? Well, despite its conservation focus, the proposal sparked debates and concerns about making business planning challenging. Just look at some of these record-breaking king salmon catches that wouldn't be allowed under these new penalties. A lot of fisheries don't just pull the babies in for fun, they've got hungry mouths to feed and lots of businesses expecting their own cut of the haul. But on the other hand, some sports fishing guides support the proposal's requirement for a 36-inch and under rule, allowing the Alaska Department of Fish and Game to manage the fishery while ensuring large kings have the chance to spawn. We don't want them going the way of the old buffalo, right? Once the last salmon is caught, good luck finding any more record-breaking pools. They might just have to start fishing for sharks. A Texas Tumble Hopefully, you're not shark-seeking out over in Texas, but at least one man found space in this giant state, won over in Corpus Christi. This Texan swimmer took the form of a 14-foot hammerhead shark off the Padre Island National Seashore. The angler who pulled it in was Poco Cedillo, and he described it as a catch of multiple lifetimes. We'd have to agree, especially considering just how few people can catch a shark in just one lifetime. But hammerhead sharks aren't really meant to be hauled in, so Poco tried to free it back to where it came. The unfortunate part of the story is that despite the efforts to release the shark back into the ocean, it was too exhausted to survive. Cedillo and the fishing association members standing by had attempted to save the shark by holding it in the current for about 30 to 40 minutes, but it ultimately succumbed. He clarified that he always practices releasing every shark he catches and shared the story on Facebook to dispel rumors. He was actually pretty torn up about the whole thing. But the internet did what the internet does, and some praised his efforts while others called him a heartless monster to all kinds of fish. Now, maybe if this were a grouper in Florida, things may have gone a bit differently. Going with the grouper Fishing, like a lot of things in Florida, always holds some surprises. In this swampy state, you might reel in an alligator, a snake, or as one lucky man discovered, the oldest grouper ever recorded. In the wintry season of December, an amateur fisherman named Jason Boyle came from Siesta Key to do what he always dreamed of. And that dream came true when he caught a massive Warsaw grouper weighing 160 kilograms, or about 350 pounds, at a depth of 182 meters, or roughly 600 feet. Little did he know at the time he had landed a real piece of history. Scientists from the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, the FWC, determined the grouper's age by studying its ear stones, which are hard calcium structures found behind the brain in bony fish. Using this method, biologists were able to guess that the grouper was an astonishing 50 years old, thus making it the oldest specimen ever examined in their aging program. The FWC shared the incredible news on Facebook, with a great shot of Boyle standing next to his colossal catch. You can tell the whole fish totally dwarfs him in size. Now that's a whopper. The Warsaw grouper is known to reach weights of up to 570 pounds and this extraordinary find showed that they can live to be pretty old too. Picking up paddlefish From Alaska to Texas, Florida and now Oklahoma has become the stage for a new record-breaking catch. 
giant raider hailing from Wichita, Kansas, managed to cross states and snag an oversized 164-pound paddlefish at Keystone Lake near Tulsa. The Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation, or the ODWC, announced this remarkable feat in a celebratory Facebook post that laid on the praise for Raider's exceptional catch. But that's not to say he did it alone. Assisting in this historic moment was Jeremiah Mefford from Real Good Time Guide Service, along with Corey Waters, the former world and state record holder from Oklahoma, who took the time to congratulate Raider personally. The previous record, set by Waters, stood at 151.9 pounds, making Raiders catch a significant milestone in the world of paddlefishing. Now that's an exciting place to be if you really love paddlefish. These interesting creatures are known for their unique characteristics, like live up to their 50s and having a hefty paddle-billed nose, which is where the iconic name comes from. You can recognize one almost instantly, making it one of the most distinctive fish species in all of Oklahoma. They're prehistoric in nature and can be found in all types of river systems, but mostly in the Grand Yosho and Arkansas rivers from Montana to Louisiana. So let's hear it for these big little guys. They might not be found in some remote spots, but they've got a big paddle to live up to. The Big Tuna in a pre-dawn auction in Japan, a different kind of record was broken, this time as a bid for a prized yet threatened species, the bluefin tuna. Perhaps you've heard of them? At the first auction in 2019, a 612-pound or about 278-kilogram bluefin tuna fetched a stunning 333.6 million yen, more than double the winning bid at the 2013 annual New York auction. In U.S. dollars, that comes out to almost $2,230,000. The bid was made by Kiyoshi Kimura, the proprietor of the Sushi Zanmei chain, who has also previously won the annual auction. But don't think this is a common practice. The overwhelming price is way higher than the typical rates for bluefin tuna, which usually sell for up to $40 a pound. Towards the end of the year, prices can soar to over $200 a pound, depending on which region they're coming from but it seems like this guy just really wanted this tuna. Despite how excited everyone was over the purchase, experts had to bring the mood down by warning us that the Pacific bluefin tuna is in grave danger of extinction. The values will only continue to go up unless something is done to increase their population, which usually means less fishing. Japan is by far the largest consumer of bluefin tuna, but they've started to support plans to rebuild Pacific bluefin stocks aiming to reach 20% of historic levels by 2034. Until then, don't be surprised if we see more bids reaching ridiculous heights like this one. Grabbing the Giant Gar Now, when you think the fish whisperer, you'd expect to find a great catch of fish, right? Well, the big haul has a bit of a twist, but believe us, it's bigger than any fish you'd want to be whispering to. Right from the get-go, these young anglers set out to catch a living fossil a modern-day dinosaur, and definitely not an average fish. They were looking for an alligator gar over seven feet long. What exactly is an alligator gar, you might ask? Take a look for yourself. They're basically monsters and fishy bodies looking for the next catch themselves. They've got sharp teeth and love to just tear through their prey, and these YouTubers from the Fish Whisperer channel made it their mission to catch one. It's almost like magic once they actually see it coming up in the water, it almost feels like they could reach in and pull it out, but that would be one hefty fight. It eventually takes both the fisherman and the cameraman to work together to both hold the fishing rod and pull the fish in with an extra bit of rope, almost like cattle. Maybe that's why they call it wrangling. They put it to the shore instead of dragging the heavy creature into their small boat, and the measurement is just as impressive as they hoped. 92 inches long, which is over seven and a half feet. So. Mission accomplished. True Treasure Trout A group of adventurous Australian friends set out on a fishing expedition near the scenic shores of Indonesia, hoping for a day of exciting catches. Little did they know one of them would soon hook a coral trout worth carping about. This beautiful creature was a heavy puncher, weighing an amazing 50 kilograms or just over 110 pounds. Just look at how exciting they get once they realize what they've got in their hands as they reeled in the magnificent fish, marveling at its size and beauty. But if you think it looks great at a glance, just wait until you see its value on the market. These guys hit the jackpot 
with sources saying this trout could take in tens of thousands of dollars due to its rarity and size. The friends couldn't believe their luck, and their fishing trip turned into a true telltale that they're ready to back up. Even if they ended up letting the fish go back into the ocean, they'll always have the internet to hold on to their memories, reminding them of the incredible treasures waiting beneath those waves. Stingray or two Researchers in Thailand made a big discovery when they came upon a colossal car-sized stingray in the Mekong River, just outside Bangkok. Nicknamed the Big One, this substantial ray weighed approximately 360 kilograms and measured an impressive 4.3 meters long. They held it in a cage within the river to make studying it a bit easier, but quickly found through an ultrasound examination that the ray was pregnant with two fetal rays. Talk about the circle of life knocking on the door. The researchers were amazed by the ray's size, including the unborn babies, breaking the previous record of 314 kilograms overall for this species. The catch was documented for an upcoming episode of the TV show, Ocean Mysteries, hosted by Jeff Corwin. These babies are going to be stars, or at least make some interesting cameos coming up. The Whiskered Wonder Here's a call back to some more catfish. But now we're in Thailand, where Thai fishermen made this extraordinary discovery by netting a catfish as big as a grizzly bear, setting a new record for the largest freshwater fish ever found. The monster in catfish clothing weighed a humongous 646 pounds, stunning researchers who never imagined they'd find such a specimen. While some claims of larger sturgeons exist, the International Game Fishing Association recognizes a sturgeon weighing 468 pounds as the largest on record. The researchers on the scene, who are affiliated with the World Wildlife Fund and collaborating with the National Geographic Society, stressed the urgent need to study and safeguard these giant fish species, specifically the Mekong giant catfish, because many of them are critically endangered. Their research reveals a global pattern showing how big fish keep fading away, and they're trying to find ways to fix that. The Mekong River Basin holds a vast collection of massive fish species, with many of them serving as a primary protein source for the 73 million people residing along its banks. Protecting these extraordinary animals and their habitats remains an urgent and crucial task, but are fishermen capable of handling it? As soon as bigger fish exist, we'll have to hope so. Marlin by the Pound If you thought those other fish were big, you better strap in for this behemoth in an unexpected fishing feat. A fisher named Rob Crane reeled in a massive 1,433-pound black marlin off the coast of Fraser Island in Queensland, Australia. Crane spent two hours wrestling with the marlin, showcasing his remarkable angling skills and the stamina that's needed for something this crazy. He had to use a 130-pound line just to hold on to this beauty, but it was all worth it to capture this gigantic creature. He especially wanted to emphasize how necessary it is to bring along the right gear to handle such powerful marine animals. You won't catch Rob Crane without the right tools for the job. He also mentioned how amazing these marlins are, considering how they start as small as dogs and can grow to overwhelming sizes of over 25-year spans. Despite the impressive size of this catch, Crane recognized the dangers associated with bringing the fish home to cook due to its mercury content making it unsafe to eat because of how big it is. It's almost like a punishment for completing the challenge. The catch became a local spectacle, drawing both children and adults who had fun posing for photos with the prized marlin. While Crane was open to scientists studying the fish for research purposes, the event became a great way to appreciate the wonders of the ocean and the thrilling encounters it offers to adventurous anglers. Biggest Mahi Mahi our next fish of epic proportions appeared near Cabo San Lucas in Mexico. Angler Brian Lindsay and his crew claimed to have hooked a massive 102-pound Dorado, or Mahi Mahi, and the news made a splash among fellow enthusiasts. At first, they were met with skepticism, but the catch was documented through photos and videos proving how big it really was. The only issue was that there wasn't anyone on board who could officially verify the stats. They used a hand scale to proudly record the weight and allegedly shattered the existing 87-pound IGFA record. Official examiners have estimated it to be closer to 94 pounds instead of the full 102, but they're apparently waiting for more evidence to confirm the official record. Hopefully, they take care of it soon. Fish spoil pretty fast. A shark for the books. Bond. Ben Bond. He's not a secret agent 
but a British fisherman that bravely battled a massive 25 foot long six gill shark. It went down when Ben went to Ireland on a fishing trip for some fun. How was he supposed to know that this relaxing voyage would become a fierce fight he'd never forget? The incredible encounter lasted over 90 minutes, with Ben struggling to reel in the enormous beast for an hour and a half. Although he couldn't bring it aboard due to its massive girth, the experienced skipper on board estimated its weight at over 1,500 pounds. If that's accurate, it'd make this catch the largest shark ever caught in the British Isles and Europe. Unfortunately, but maybe fortunate for the six gill, Ben refused to terminate the threatened species for an official record. He released the six gill shark back into the ocean and watched that record prize swim away. Not all prizes need to be trophies. MJ and the Marlin Since we're talking about trophies, we have to mention the magic of the legendary NBA superstar Michael Jordan. Never one to shy from the competition, he aimed to score a trophy off the court and in the 62nd annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Tournament. Michael and his crew rode aboard the Catch-23 yacht and only shot for the stars. But funny enough, they actually scored. Jordan managed to hook a hefty 442.3-pound Blue Marlin. Sadly, it wasn't the largest catch of the day, but a fish that huge certainly stole the spotlight. The tournament saw several other impressive Marlins, from one weighing 450 pounds to another maxing in at 470 pounds. The excitement peaked as anglers aimed for the prize worth $552,500 for the first boat to land a blue marlin over 500 pounds. Jordan was there to share his affection for North Carolina, the state where he rose to fame and expressed his joy at being back home. The crowd had no intention of holding back when they saw him surrounded by his team and the massive marlin. With the spirit of competition and the love for his home state, Jordan's fishing adventure became a tale of both sportsmanship and hometown pride. From Sea to Sea Michael and Margaret Snell from Wiltshire in the United Kingdom achieved a record-breaking feat during their holiday on Canada's Fraser River. With sheer astonishment at such a pull, they actually managed to reel in a colossal 12-foot, 4-inch white sturgeon that weighed over a staggering 1,100 pounds. This mammoth catch could possibly be one of North America's largest ever recorded, and let's just say that it completely left the couple in disbelief. Mr. Snell described the entire ordeal as a hard-fought battle that lasted well into a full hour of tugging and pulling before they could claim their victory over the giant fish. With the aid of a fishing guide, they successfully brought the creature into the riverbank to finish the catch, leaving everyone both exhilarated and exhausted. After the fish was tagged, weighed and measured, it was returned to the water, as per the rules of the sport. Mr. Snell seems to think that the sturgeon's age was around 140 years old and that it had never been caught before, seeing as how there wasn't any proof of a previous tag. We can't say whether he's right or not, but he did catch the prized fish, so we'll have to at least give him the benefit of the doubt. Seeing Siamese Carp Another British fisherman saw some action when 57-year-old Tim Webb reeled in the world's largest Siamese carp. This big old swimmer weighed a mighty 222 pounds and put up a fight for a grueling 90 minutes in a lake in Ban Pong, Thailand. Some of these guys just refused to go down. Using a simple bait of bread and bran rice, Tim lured the titanic carp onto his line, overcoming one challenging moment after another during the struggle. The fish tipped the scales at almost 16 stone close to 224 pounds that shattered the previous Siamese carp record by over 70 pounds and dwarfed the largest carp ever caught in Britain. Tim's fondness for his extraordinary catch led him to buy it from the lake, transporting it to his own fishery, Palm Tree Lagoon, where it now resides. With the help of fellow anglers, the carp was carefully transferred and released into Tim's three-and-a-half-acre lake, delighting fishing enthusiasts visiting his fishery which attracts thousands of British anglers annually. It's like a living trophy and proof of his skills. Despite this remarkable feat, Tim chose not to submit the claim to the International Game Fish Association due to their regulations regarding stocked waters. But who needs verification when you still have the fish to yourself? Not Tim. Century-old Sturgeon in British Columbia, newbie anglers Steve Eklund and Mark Boyce were guided by River Monster Adventures experts Mick McCabe and Tyler Speed to ultimately reel in an enormous white sturgeon on Father's Day. What better way to celebrate, right? 
The outstanding catch measured in at 10 feet and 1 inch long with a girth of 57 inches, showcasing its prehistoric size when he leaped out of the water during the nearly two-hour struggle. Eklund estimated its weight to be around 700 pounds and believed the sturgeon to be over a century old. How was he able to tell? It seems like a fisherman just knows sometimes. This catch marked a historic moment for river monster adventures, leaving both anglers and social media users reeling in astonishment. The giant fish, often labeled a true dinosaur, was quickly photographed and released back into the water, where it'll hopefully continue to grow even older. The fact that it was an untagged sturgeon hinted that this could be the first time it was ever caught, but then again, there are times when tags come off over the course of years or other struggles, but fishing is more about the moment than the history, so we're sure these guys don't mind either way. Fight with a Water Beast During a six-day fishing adventure in the Cape Verde Islands, a group of South African fishermen encountered a fish so big, so ginormous, that it has to be considered a type of sea monster. This was a humongous blue marlin that weighed 1,370 pounds and measured 12 feet in length, yet somehow it was only the second largest ever caught in the Atlantic. The fish, if you can really call it that, came across more like a creature from a science fiction movie than a real animal. Led by 50-year-old Ben Vorster and Captain Ryan Rue Williamson, the men lured the massive marlin from the depths and fought for a 30-minute scuffle with the creature using a 130-pound test line. Despite falling short of the IGFA all-tackle world record, the marlin's huge size let the fishermen proud and in awe. These guys didn't exactly let the fish go back, like some of the other anglers we've seen, but they did generously distribute its meat to the locals, providing great sustenance for numerous families in the area for days, if not weeks. At least it was put to good use. Mm-hmm. <laughs>